So I'm Manu Kapoor, I'm the director of the Singapore Eteha Centre in Singapore and also a professor of learning sciences in higher education at ETH Zurich uh, in Switzerland. Yes and no. So the average effect, yes, is in favor of flipped learning over traditional instruction. But there is enough, what we found was there's enough variation around this average effect. That means sometimes it's really working well and sometimes it's not. So the average is in the middle. Second, the reason for the effect, which we think it should be from active learning, our data did not support that. Our data, what we found was that the effect was coming primarily from passive learning activities and not so much from active learning. And in fact, when the traditional instruction also incorporated active learning, the effect of flipped learning intervention vanished. There was no more. So the basic finding or the final finding is it's better to focus on incorporating active learning rather than you know, necessarily thinking about flipped or traditional instruction. Well, the model is consistent with the data and the theory of learning. So it starts with, not with direct instruction, it starts with uh, a failure-based model. So you start with engaging students in problem-solving activities that are designed for them to generate ideas, explore, and even fail. And then you give them the instruction. Um, it could be in class, it could be online in a video or through readings. And then you discuss them in class and you provide feedback. And that's the 4F model, the fail, flip, form, and feed. Yeah, so the research, the studies that we've done, uh, this model leads to more effective learning, deeper learning, better conceptual understanding, and also better transfer. Uh, and those are two very important indicators of learning. Yeah. Yeah, so basically you're trying to activate all the relevant knowledge a, a learner can have so that they can help, that will help them learn new things, right? So failure helps to activate that knowledge very well. Another advantage is failure creates a positive affect, you know, so you, once you see the limits of your own knowledge, you, you know, there's a motivation or an interest to find out, okay, so what's, what do I not know? How do I find out what's the correct answer or something like that? You know, and then that creates the right sort of um, uh, motivation to learn, uh, so to speak. And that's when it, the expert comes in and then teaches and assembles the whole thing for the learner. That's what creates powerful learning. So as I said in my talk, the expert instruction is very important, but to time it to provide it just when it's needed is also very important from a learning standpoint. You give the same instruction at the wrong time where the learner has not you know, been sufficiently activated, then it will not be as beneficial. Not that it won't be benef not as beneficial if you first engage the learner in these problem-solving activities that are designed very nicely, and then you provide the instruction. So instruction is important. You just have to time it well. So my, my recommendation is the 4F model is one model, try it, that's what data tells us could be effective, that's what research on productive failure also tells us could be effective, so try it in your own context, generate the evidence, always listen to evidence rather than you know jumping on a bandwagon, I think that would be my advice. And if the evidence contradicts the theory, that's also fine, publish it, um, but it's important to keep trying. Um, and as you're trying, I think if you're focused try to focus more on active learning strategies rather than passive. So the more you move towards active learning strategies, whether you're f flipping or not, uh, the better the learning would be. Look, the conference is obviously in a great venue, so it's really very nice. I'm very heartened to see the, the numbers. Uh, most, about 700, 800 people are here. Uh, also very heartened to see the diversity. I mean, very impressive that, you know, it's basically the whole globe is represented. And in the interaction sessions through the Q&A and also in the workshop, you know, it was amazing how people really stayed through and asked a lot of really important questions because people are really, you know, they want to work on improving the education uh, and learning experiences of their students. So that is really very nice.